The program DC Pile Group supports the analysis of pile groups with a pile cap slab in the small program version and have combined pile raw foundations in the large program version. The program supports the analysis according to Eurocode 7 for different countries, including free settings for the design approach, as well as different standards like, for example, SIA 267 and BS 8004. For Eurocode 7, the three design approaches are available with selection of the safety factors for actions, soil parameters, and resistances. Within the free settings, we can define in detail where to apply which safety factors. The design for the slab of reinforced concrete and for the concrete or steel piles is done according to Eurocode 2 and 3 or other national standards. For the design according to Eurocode 2 and 3 for reinforced concrete and steel, the definition of the nationally determined parameters can be easily added. For the analysis of the slab, we apply elastic bedding with the subgrade reaction method or the stiffness modulus method. The piles act as elastic supports and their stiffness is determined with the resistance settlement line of the piles. The elastic bedding of the slab is only available in the large program version of the software. The medium element size can be defined, as well as a mesh refinement at the piles and concentrated loads. For CPRF constructions, we can apply in the large program version the mutual influence between slab and piles, and between piles and piles following the approach of El Gendi, Hanish, and Kani. The user may select a number of load steps for a stepwise application of the loads and the precision of the iteration. For the soil layers, we need values for skin friction and end bearing for the transfer of longitudinal loads as well as friction angle, cohesion, specific weight and modulus of foundation for lateral loads, and the Young's modulus for the consideration of the load transfer between slab and piles. For skin friction and end bearing, suggested values from recommendations on piles are available. For friction angle, cohesion, specific weight and Young's modulus, individual values may be predefined. We first define the order of the soil layers. Later, we may enter different values for the soil layer thickness at various bore points, if required, and the program interpolates between them. The slab may be rectangular, an arbitrary polygon, or circular. It is important to have a reasonable ratio between the Young's modulus of the soil layers and the modulus of foundation of the slab, ESKS being about 20 to 30. It is possible to define single piles, a regular grid of piles, or pile rings along the border of the slab. The pile rings need not to be circular, but run along the border of the slab with distance defined by the first point. Several rings towards the interior of the slab can be arranged automatically. Bore piles, driven piles, and micro piles are supported. The pile length may be defined or the required length calculated. The connection to the slab is rigid or hinged.
The piles may be vertical or inclined. The inclination may be defined by the inclination angles in x and y direction, or with the total inclination to the vertical and the direction of the inclination. The reduction factors from the group effect of the piles can be determined automatically as far as possible by the program when the position of all piles is available. The values may be changed according to the estimation of the user. The factors depend upon the position of the pile at the border or inside the pile group and the distance of the piles according to the load direction. Loads can be defined as concentrated, linear, polygonal or circular distributed loads in different load cases. The program automatically creates all load case combinations with and without safety factor with and without variable loads. Section forces, deformations and soil pressure can be drawn along arbitrary section lines. In the 3D view the construction is displayed clearly to evaluate the correct input of the geometry. During the analysis, the process of the iteration over the number of load steps and the different load cases is shown to make the calculation progress visible. We skip the period of analysis here. We jump to the first page of the critical load case combination 4. The permanent loads are applied with safety factor 1.35. First, the design values of the pile forces are displayed for the verification of the load transfer in longitudinal direction. Permitted load equals resistance, available load equals action, divided into the components from self-weight, permanent and variable load. The maximum and minimum utilization of the different piles is displayed. The verification is fulfilled if the utilization is less than or equal to 1.0. From the characteristic normal forces, divided into self-weight, permanent and variable load as well, result the settlement of the pile head and the spring constant of the piles as supports for the slab. The pile group factor alpha shows which part of the total load is taken by the piles. The pile verifications ED is less than or equal to RD are displayed for the load transfer in longitudinal direction by skin friction and end bearing, as well as in the lateral direction by elastic bedding with adaption to the passive earth pressure. The settlements of the piles are displayed as the total value, as well as the different components from the pile load and the mutual influence between the piles and from the slab to the piles. For any pile, the applied modulus of foundation is displayed depending on the direction of the resulting load with different reduction over the depth, as well as the section forces, the deformation and the soil pressure along the pile. The section forces, deformations and soil pressures of the slab may be displayed alternatively as color areas or as contour lines with labels.
The section forces, deformations and soil pressures of the slab can be displayed along arbitrary section lines. The scale of the different types of graphics may be changed, while the maximum possible scale for the selected sheet size is displayed.